Good day to you, YouTube, and welcome back to the Writer's Emporium, where I do my best to help you guys get your next masterpiece out there. Now, in today's video, we're going to be going over the different aspects of your plot. Now, uh, every plot of every story needs to go through a certain progression in order for it to actually be a functioning story. And there is actually a very specific diagram that goes along with it, and I'm going to be going over that. Now, you guys may have seen this diagram before. It's called the plot diagram. Some people call it a story mountain, but it's really up to you. This really just uh, explains how your story must progress in really uh, a stringent order. It involves your introduction, your rising action, the introduction of your conflict, your climax, your falling action, otherwise called your denouement, as well as your conclusion. Now I'm going to be explaining each of these things in relative detail and as well as giving some examples of how it might relate to your story. First and foremost is your intro introduction, otherwise called your exposition by some people, but it's really up to you. Now what your introduction serves to do is it really just gives a baseline for your story. In a lot of cases it sets the tone. This is where you also need to introduce all of your characters. You might introduce your villain in this, but it's really not necessary. and. Uh, Really, it gets you involved into the story as well. Next is your rising action. Now, this is where it really starts to build up to the conflict. This is where a lot of foreshadowing happens. If you haven't introduced your antagonist or your villain in the introduction, this is where you really need to do it in order for people to really get the mission and uh, exactly what's going to happen in this story. Next is the introduction of your conflict. Now, your conflict is really as simple as that. This is where there's the main clash between your protagonist and your antagonist. And it doesn't even necessarily have to be an antagonist, it can be an antithesis, but we're going to be getting into that a later day. This is where your uh, main characters and your protagonist mainly need to be confronted with the main problem of this story, and they need to, uh, and the reader needs to understand uh, kind of what, uh, what the mission is that your main character is trying to accomplish at the end of the story once you've introduced your conflict. Now your climax is next, and this is at the very top of your story mountain. Your climax is where you need your story to be the most fast paced. This is the most exciting part of your story. This is where the conflict reaches an all time high as well as your plot. Um, for example, if you're uh, writing a novel and uh, it chronicles a murder, perhaps, um, he just killed another person, and you're running out of time, that would be your climax. Or perhaps a terrorist blew up a building, or um, the orc invasion is starting. That is your climax. Bear in mind that your climax doesn't last for very long. Um, it's usually only between one chapter and three, and then you're pushing it. After you're done with your climax, you then move into your falling action, or your denouement. Your falling action is where your uh, characters are doing their best to solve the conflict. They're doing your, their best to uh, solve the uh, problem of your story. Um, now, this isn't where the problem gets solved. This is merely just showing um, your character's adventure in doing so. Finally is your conclusion. Now, your conclusion is where the problem of the story gets solved. Honestly. Now, I do... Grant that there is a certain amount of weight into a cliffhanger, and uh, what a cliffhanger really serves to do is it serves to make the reader buy your next book, really. Um, it leads into the next story, but don't mistake that for leaving your story completely open-ended. Um, trust me, I've read books like that, and they're just not enjoyable at the end of the day, just because there's no resolution. However, everybody, that is the six aspects of your plot line, and that is all that I have for you guys today. Um, do your best to follow each of these six steps, because if you don't, it's just not going to make as functional and as enjoyable of a story. However, I will see you guys in the next video, whether it be Facts, Philosophy, Physics, Oh My, or The Gentleman's Corner, you have yet to find out, and I will see you next time. Have a nice day.